Hello again everyone, Schoons Comics here with another exciting, oh so thrilling, comic book haul! Yes! Hello! How y'all doing? I have another crazy stack of wacky books here. I have stuff from Fan Expo Chicago to show. I've got stuff from Half Price Books. I've got stuff from a grocery store. And I've got one big key that I got off of eBay. So let's just jump in, all right? So, uh, last video I showed a bunch of goodies that my lovely fiance got me in Chicago. Very cool of her. Uh, and these are the last two goodies. <laughs> these are great. She got me these prints, right? So we got this Godzilla print. Very awesome. I love Godzilla. Who doesn't? So I will display this very prominently in the comic book room. And then, boy, this one's this one's the best. Um, Jeff Goldblum's running joke. Favorite in this household. Everyone likes to do their terrible Jeff Goldblum impersonation. And she saw this at the con and thought this needed to be in my life. And I agree. Look at this. Look at this Jeff Goldblum print. Got little velociraptors there in the background. And I said, what should I do with this? She said, put it in your comic room. I'm like, absolutely. So this will have a... It looks like Orville Redenbacher a little bit, doesn't he? But uh, <laughs> that's great. So that's good stuff. That's good stuff. Very happy to have those. And then I bought... Um, let's see, I don't want to do this one. First of all, at a uh, local grocery store chain here, Meyer. I don't know if you have Meyer where you live. In the Midwest, it's a thing. It's like Walmart. Um, they, uh, I found this the other day. I'm a big fan of World War Z, the novel, not the movie, the terrible movie. But Max Brooks's World War Z. Love that book. And he had a, another book a couple years ago called De-Evolution that came out and I did not want to spend like 25 bucks for the hardback and I was like well I'll pick up the paperback or I'll find it on sale and sure enough Meyer not only finally had it on sale for like five bucks but if you look at it it's a signed copy so if you got a Meyer where you live go go check it out and by god you might find yourself a signed copy of this book it's pretty good pretty good not finished with it yet but uh very entertaining so that was a cool pickup on the cheap and then let's see, uh, local antique mall. I got uh, a few things here. Eh, how do I want to do this? Okay, I'm always terrified if I buy things that are not comic books that I'm becoming a hoarder. A little, a little terrifying. But uh, <laughs> I picked this up because it looks so cool, and I'm totally just going to flip it on eBay. But Donald Duck storybook from 1937. Look at that artwork, isn't that cool? Uh, it's missing a few pages, and it's beat up, and it's been, some pages have been colored, but, you know, I figured this was $4. I just found it at a random booth, and I love pop culture stuff, so I was like, okay. I've seen this going for, I don't know, I see it asked for quite a bit on eBay, but I will, you know, I'll, I'm just trying to get a few bucks out of it and get in the hands of the Disney collectors, so, again, pretty cool looking book, right? $4? Then we'll get into the half price stuff. So half price books, I got a few goodies. Um, X Men Origins Gambit. This is a pretty hot book right now. It's a little beat up here on the side, but I got this for like a buck fifty. So I love Gambit, one of my favorite X Men. Very cool character. Glad to pick this up. And they had a whole half price has been a real hit or miss lately as well. Um, I was just there today and they had nothing so but this last this is probably about a month ago i got all these goodies so justice league dark number one that was from the later series and then i also picked up justice league dark i don't have a glare going on here there we go number one the original series from the new 52 buck 50 each I just picked this one up some X-Men fan. I enjoyed the movie. So here's the adaptation of it. I don't know. It was like a dollar. Buck fifty. Then they had a couple DC Universe variants, right? So we got Catwoman, number 11. I'm trying to fight the glare here. That's better. I'll do that. 
Catwoman 11. I love these DC Universe logo ones where they're red like that. Just different colors. I think that's pretty cool. So, And then they had Superman Man of Steel 34. Again, we'll try this way. This is what happens when you shoot a video not during daylight hours. Goo, goo, goo. That's pretty, that's good. So yes, always happy to get the DCU books. They also had the first issue of James Tynan the Fourth's Wind. They learned four fifty for this one, which I paid. They finally price checked me at half price. They had a bunch of books they had not put out on the shelves yet, including Strange Academy, which is a hot book right now. And for whatever reason, she price checked it. And I, she was doing this, and she she comes up and finds me on the floor. She's like, "This book's worth like three hundred dollars on eBay." Did you, did you did you know that? I'm like, no, no, I didn't know. I I know it's, people are asking that, but whatever. So of course I had to, no, I just I just thought it looked kind of cool. I mean, like, yeah, so yeah, price checked, bummer. But anyway, wind number one got four fifty. Cool looking book. And Batman Detective Comics number one from the New Fifty Two. That was a good pickup. And I will pick this book up anytime I can find it because I think it's such a cool piece of comic history. The last issue of Detective Comics in its own run. Detective Comics 881. Such a nondescript cover for the last issue of such a long-running title. But that's a condition upgrade for me. i got a couple copies of this now, so happy to have that. And then I have a billion copies of this, I swear. Infinity Gauntlet number one, but I will pick it up every time. Classic comic, classic cover, classic storyline. $1.50, can't go wrong. They also had the last, or excuse me, the first appearance of Starhawk in Defenders 28. This is a beat up book. I need to clean it up. It's pretty dirty. But uh, for $1.50, first appearance of a character, Pretty cool. I'm saying cool a lot in tonight's video, but that's okay. And what do I want to show off next? Um, so, also at the local antique store, <laughs> I, I'll go on my lunch hour. It takes me about 20 minutes to get there, giving me about 20 minutes to look around, and then I gotta get out of there and get back to work, right? So, I was there the other day, and the they have two booths that sell comics. And the guy that runs the one booth was there. And he's like, oh, I've got, I'm bringing in five new short boxes right now. I'm like, ooh, new boxes people haven't seen yet. Exciting. But I had to go. I didn't have time. I had to get back to the office. So I'm hemming and hawing about this. I'm like, eh, I'll just, I'll come back tomorrow. And as I'm leaving, the his daughters are wheeling in these five short boxes. And I got to know what's in these boxes. But I did have to get back to the office. So, uh, like a responsible adult, I left work an hour early. <laughs> left work an hour early because the antique mall closed at 5. And I got there and had a little time to look around. And I picked up these books. Plus I picked up, I don't have them here. Um, a big fan of the Batman Tom King run. I know some people think it's a little slow. And there are a few issues that aren't my favorite. But all in all, I enjoy the run. And then he had the follow-up series Batman and Catwoman. 12 issues, but I didn't buy those because they were late and modern comics cover prices are insane. I just didn't pick them up. I figured I could find them all bundled once the 12 issues were done and get them at a deal. And sure enough, this guy had all 12 issues for $25 in a bundle. So I picked those up. So that was a very cool purchase. But I also picked up these three books. Robin, Cry for Huntress, issue four. I picked this up um, for a couple reasons. Big Tim Drake Robin fan. First of all, it's a newsstand. Um, I love the dates on these newsstands. It's really cool. And when I first got into comics, I remember Wizard Magazine had an article about Tim Drake Robin, and they used this image. And I remember thinking that was so striking. It's not. I was used to Robin from Adam West Batman, like Burt Ward, like holy whatever Batman, you know, very wacky and to see him very dramatic in the rain and oh my gosh and I was like oh maybe I maybe I didn't take a better uh, second look at this character so I always enjoy this piece of art by Tom Lyle I believe is the artist on this 
No, it's a Mike Zek cover. Huh. Hmm. Anyway, um, just a really cool cover. Have I picked that up for a dollar? And then I always love finding these Atlas comics from the ill-fated 70s comic line. So this is Atlas Comics, The Scorpion, number two. Howard Chaikin's The Scorpion, another dollar comic. Cross that off my list. And finally, they had the last issue of World's Finest Comics, number 323. I love last issues, especially last issues when the editorial page would still be saying goodbye to the fans. It's just fun and really excited to have this one in the collection. It's in really nice shape. Batman waving goodbye to Superman. Superman waving goodbye to Batman. Comic book greatness. Let's see. Oh, there's something else I picked up. Yeah. So I've been, uh, met a guy on, uh, Instagram who, uh, well, Jim Hollister, Jim Hollister on Instagram, a uh, big Superman collector, has a wonderful set of the Death of Superman books that put mine to shame. But he's also a huge fan of Defiant Comics, the short-lived comic line by Jim Shooter. And he's so much of an expert and a collector that he has an article in Overstreet's latest offering, Lost Universes. This just talks about all the dead comic lines and imprints, and Jim has a nice four-page article here, interview. So, fun pickup. I picked this up from Amazon just yesterday. Just started thumbing through it, and, you know, I'm, I'm always interested in these comic lines that didn't quite make it, so Lost Universe from Overstreet. Pick it up. And then... Okay, you know what I forgot to do, guys? Metarog. Roger, great YouTuber, great supporter of the community, great supporter of mine. He always comments on videos. He comments on everybody's videos. I swear he spends all his time just watching videos. I know that's not true, but he's just always, he's always there with a kind word for anybody, and he's just great. And he sent me a few books, because he's a nice guy. Sent me Superman Man of Steel 52, DC Universe logo variant, because he knows I'm a sucker for those. And Adventures of Superman 524. Bub would tell us not to apologize for the glare. So there you go. And he sent me a bunch of books. He, he sent me one book that's a uh, that's a Mark Jeweler variant. And I don't think I have it in a stack because I can't remember exactly which one it was. But he sent me one and I have very few Mark Jewelers. So I was very happy to have that. But I'm going to have to go through my books. They're all disorganized right now. I'll find it. Uh, Frankenstein Monster number 12. I love Bronze Age Marvel Horror. Very excited to have that. I did not have that one. And Where Monsters Dwell number 12. Oh, look at that. I love them. That's just so fun. I, I don't know who would ever think that would not be cool. Weird War Tales 72. That I need more war books. That's a it's a little bit of a blind spot in my collection that I need to add to. Uncanny X-Men 156. Great Dave Cockrum cover there. There we go. Thor 221. Great Thor and Hercules battling cover. There we go. Please like that. Here's a Whitman variant to Justice League America. I don't know the title because it's a Whitman variant. I, have, I think I've got like three Whitman variants, so to pick up a Whitman, that's very exciting. Very glad to have that in the collection. Thank you so much, Roger. And last but not least, he sent me Uncanny X-Men Days of Future Past trade paperback. That classic storyline. That's great. So thank you so much, Metarog. I appreciate it very much. You're the best. And last but not least, I picked myself up this Bronze Age gym because I've wanted it. I have the reprint, but not the actual first issue. Star Wars number one. Look at that. Book practically saved the Marvel Universe. Well, Marvel Comics in the 70s. Look at that. Darth Vader's green there before the movie even hits. So cool. 
really happy to have this. Big time key for me in my collection. And that's what I have, people. That's what I got this time. Um, yeah, that's it. But I'll be back because I have more books to show. I've got a special collection I'm planning on showing next video. So stay tuned. I'll be back.